Hi. In this video, we are going to talk about the design for parallel reactions. And here we are going to talk about quantitatively treating the product distribution and reactor size. In uh, another video, I have already spoken about how to qualitatively analyze the product distribution and reactor size for uh, parallel reactions. Here we will do so for a quantitative purpose. Now let us uh, consider the example A gives R and S out of which R is the desired product and S is the undesired one. And we are aware that uh, whenever we have parallel reactions involved uh, or in any case uh, general form of multiple reactions we are very much concerned about the product distribution okay so if the jt equations are known to us for individual reactions then we can quantitatively proceed for the design how so so uh, to evaluate this uh, how much of the product uh, and uh, this maximization of r that is the desired product occurs we are going to define two terms one i will denote by small phi and the other one by capital phi okay so uh, let me define what these are so small phi is moles of r formed by moles of a simply means R by minus CA. Remember, we are considering that rate equations are known. Okay. So, each term is also known as instantaneous fractional yield of r and this is calculated at any ca within the reactor okay ca being the concentration of a now for a particular set of reactions and rate equations this phi is simply a function of ca okay and ca in general will vary throughout the reactor so this phi also changes throughout the reactor as per the position in which you are evaluating so we are now going to define the overall fractional yield and that is denoted by capital phi so this phi is equals to all r formed by all A reacted. That means CR final by CA0 minus CA final. And that again is like the mean of the instantaneous fractional yield of a particular quantity here being R because we have our desired product R. Okay. So, this is like the mean of the instant fractional yields at every point inside the reactor plus the overall fractional yield of R. So, this is overall fractional yield of R. Okay, now the proper averaging of this term, uh, instant fractional yield, that is small size, depends on the type of flow which occurs within the reactor. Okay, so for plug flow, you will have phi p, which is the overall uh, fractional yield, equals to 1 by delta CA integration from CA0 to 
to taf small phi okay this is looking like q a lot okay b c a so let me just rewrite this phi correctly small phi. this is how you would express for a plug flow reactor for a mixed flow reactor remember the composition everywhere is the final composition that is cm okay one thing uh, in case of this uh, plug flow reactor there is ca means caf minus ca not final minus initial so inside the mfr like i was saying the composition everywhere is ca so phi is also i mean small phi instantaneous fractional yield is going to remain constant therefore for um, a mixed flow reactor capital phi m equals to phi evaluated at ca okay now the overall fractional yields from this mfr and pfr can be related how capital phi m is equals to d capital phi p by d p a at c a f or you can also write capital phi p equals to 1 by delta c a c a 0 to c a f integration of capital phi m dc okay so this expression they will allow us to predict the yield from one type of reactor given the yield from the other one is known to us okay now if you have a series of n mixed flow reactors then uh, let's say the concentration in each one is denoted by ca1 ca2 so on so on till can then the overall fractional yield is obtained by summing the fractional yields in each of these n vessels okay how do we do that so phi n m that is phi for n reactors in series n mixed flow reactors in series is given as phi 1 ca0 minus ca1 plus small phi 2 ca1 minus ca2 plus so on so on plus phi ca n minus 1 minus c a n whole divided by c a 0 minus c a n that will give you the overall fractional yield over n mixed flow reactors now any type of reactor be it a plug flow reactor or a mixed flow reactor if you want concentration of R then you can obtain PRF equals to overall fractional yield multiplied by CA0 minus CAF okay. now uh, from these understanding these terminologies are useful not only in determining which type of flow as best product con uh, distribution for R but also it can help us determine the reactor size okay so i'm just going to show you the uh, you know what type of flow will give the best product distribution so if you have the data for instantaneous fractional yield for every uh, concentration of a then you can simply plot a graph of phi 
on the y axis and ca on the x axis okay and let's say you have <clears throat> this kind of curve and this is your starting point ca0 and your final target is caf so if you use a mixed flow reactor then you will have this kind of area okay but if you use a plug flow kind of reactor then you will have a contacting pattern like so okay so the best contacting pattern is the one which has the largest area okay best contacting pattern gives largest area so since we want a uh, maximization of r we will choose the best contacting pattern and the largest area over here is given by plug flow reactor configuration now let us see for another uh, type let's say your phi versus ca curve is like this and this is your ca0 this is your final target caf okay in that case if you draw the plug flow reactor you would get this area but if you draw a mixed flow reactor then that gives you the maximum area therefore for this kind of configuration we will prefer mfr for the best contacting pattern now let's say you have another configuration where the plot looks like this so here we will target one intermediate concentration so this is your starting ca not and this is final ca so we'll have one intermediate concentration let me call that ca1 okay till which you would prefer to use mixed flow and then you will use a plug flow for the best contacting pattern okay so pfr and mfr i mean you have to write this backward so this is basically mfr till ca1 followed by pfr that is how you would get the best contacting pattern to get maximum r now there is another term that is uh, used uh, for this you know as a substitute for fractional yield that is called selectivity okay you, you just need to know about this so selectivity is the moles of desired product formed divided by moles of undesired material formed but generally uh, this definition is not used because it may uh, lead to some difficulty in case you have uh, you know reactions where there is partial formation of the desired product okay so in most cases uh, i mean for maximum number of cases you will see that you are dealing with uh, this concept of instantaneous fractional yield and overall fractional yield whenever you want to talk about the product distribution or in terms of finding the best contacting pattern for maximizing the desired product that is it thank you